So somebody wanted to know about a pseudo internuclear ophthalmoplegia. And pseudo, as you know, means false. Ino means inter between nuclear, between two nuclei. And the two nuclei are six and three. And ophthalmoplegia, which means the eye isn't moving properly because it's plegic. So a normal internuclear ophthalmoplegia is an adduction deficit. The eye doesn't adduct and you get a concomitant dissociated horizontal abducting nystagmus on gaze to the contralateral side. So an eye and O looks like this, it does an adduct, and then it get a dissociated, meaning one eye only, horizontal abducting nystagmus in the other eye, I and O. We can overcome this I and O sometimes with a convergence effort. And if it does converge, that means the supranuclear pathway to the third nerve medial rectus is still intact. And so that suggests that the INO is actually caudal in the pons because you have intact convergence at the level of the midbrain because the sixth nerve nucleus of, lives in pons and the third nerve nucleus lives in midbrain. You cannot tell when you have an INO whether the lesion is at the pontine level or the midbrain level, but convergence might help differentiate those two. In a pseudo INO, there is no internuclear lesion. The most common internuclear lesion in a young person, a demyelinating lesion from multiple sclerosis, in an older person, a stroke. But if you do an MRI on what you think is an INO and no lesion is seen, that could still be a true INO because 50% of the cases have no neuroradiology correlate. But if there isn't a lesion, then we still have to think about pseudo INO here. And the most common cause of the pseudo INO is myasthenia gravis. So it can always be myasthenia. It can look like any pattern of ophthalmoplegia, including what looks exactly like an internuclear ophthalmoplegia, either unilateral or bilateral. It can always be myasthenia. And it doesn't have to be the junction. It could be the muscle. So the things that damage the muscle, normally it's thyroid eye disease, but trauma and fractures, orbital inflammatory pseudotumor, anything in your orbit, including a tumor or pseudotumor of the orbit, could produce what looks to you like an INO. If, however, we can overcome it with the convergence, that kind of is a real INO because you cannot overcome myasthenia, adduction deficit conversions, and a muscle damage, and tumor, etc. So it's super important that you do the convergence effort to see if you can overcome it because this is one of the key and differentiating features that help us to distinguish a pseudo INO from a real INO. If you can't tell the difference clinically, we have to do an MRI. And if the MRI shows no lesion in the medial longitudinal fasciculus between the pontine six and the pontine third uh, nerve nuclei, think about pseudo INO, top of the list, myasthenia, but it could always be the muscle. But really, the most common cause of pseudo-INO, myasthenia gravis.